Hello, welcome. My name is Cindy St. Martin, and I am a holistic healer and angel therapist and also uh, a Reiki practitioner. So I thank you for being with me today. You're watching my weekly angel article card reading for the week of April 7th. So how was your week last week? Did you have a good one? Mine, it, was, it seemed a little long, and there was quite interesting things that happened. Uh, and so, uh, out of the norm, which is okay, which is really great because I look at them as blessings and, uh, and I become better and more enlightened because of them. So today I will select one card from three different decks to, uh, to guide us in our week, uh, next week. And I'm going to start with the, uh, angel message cards, daily message cards. So I had already called upon the angels and the archangels and God to uh, and the Ascendant Masters to help guide with my reading today. You can never pick a wrong card because of Law of Attraction, which is always great. So we are now in April, and the weather has warmed up a bit not a whole lot but a bit here and so we're so grateful and the birds are chirping so we're really into spring okay i'm going to cut the deck and we'll see what our first card is it says the ocean I'm sure a lot of us are thinking about getting to the beach <laughs> with summer uh, right around the corner. Even spring, it's a nice spring day to take a walk on the beach. But it reads, the deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean. Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. I don't know about you, but I always like being near a body of water and just sitting there and relaxing. Even walking by it seems to calm me and, and my thoughts are more clear. Water is a sense of purification. You know, we use water to wash our clothes, do our dishes, clean our homes, clean, wash ourselves. So it's a sense of purification and cleansing. When you're near there, you can imagine it cleansing you from all you, the negativities that you absorbed. And just, and again, what you think, say, and do out to the universe, it responds and gives it back to you. So if you imagine being in the near the ocean and being washed away, uh, from all the negativities and being there and, and spirits, being spiritually lifted, then the universe responds to that. If you're fortunate, like I live uh, here on the East Coast, and the Jersey Shore is not far away from me, so within an hour's drive, I can be on the beach, which on a nice day is really great. <laughs> and so I always keep in the trunk of my car two beach chairs, a beach umbrella, <laughs> so if I want to get get to the beach, I'm prepared no matter where I am or what I'm doing. I can be, get to the beach. So think about being there. I know most of us, I don't know anybody who doesn't like the beach, uh, enjoy it. And those who aren't close by, you know, imagine that um, and visualize yourself being there. So I think it's probably a time maybe for cleansing next week. But we'll see what the next card is. I'm going to the romance cards next. Okay, we'll shuffle and see what the romance cards have to say. Even in the winter time, the beach is nice to go for a walk when it's very quiet and very peaceful. Okay. And the romance card is, let your friends help you. 
and it reads, ask and accept support from others. Now, whether it's, it's with a romantic sense or anything else, to move and advance in our lives, we have to, we can't do it all by ourselves. You know, some think they can do it themselves. We really can't. We need others to help us. And sometimes we feel like we're bothering somebody if, uh, if we ask for help. But you never know. I know my true friends, I can call on them for anything and they'll be there in a jiffy. And likewise with me, if they need something, I will be there in a jiffy. I'm there to help them. So, you know, if be the friend that you want your friends to be, okay? If you're one that constantly asks for help and turns them down and don't help them, well, that's not good. So you want to be balanced here. And here we go with, with the ocean and, and friendship, cleansing. Maybe it's a time to take a, a look at yourself. And then maybe, maybe uh, you turn love away by not accepting help from others. Also love, maybe your friends know someone that can, can uh, connect you with someone. So ask your friends to help you to meet someone or to help you get things done and communicate that way. And the time with the, take a walk, maybe we got to take a good look. You know, even if you can't get to the ocean, maybe walk around a lake or a park, some type of body of water that will get you time to think, ask a friend to come with you. Maybe you need to connect that way. Or maybe the friend could be, you might have a friend who's actually a, a romantic partner that's going to develop in that way. And I think that's always the best uh, type of romance is when you are friends at first and then things to, to develop because you really like the person for who they are and appreciate them and not just uh, the physical attraction or the chemistry, those type of things uh, that are uh, uh, most attractive to us. So there we go. We have the ocean and let your friends help. And that's all blends in with each other. So we'll see what the next set of cards is, which is the angel tarot cards. And we'll see what they have to say. Whoop. So I'm going to shuffle. It just says, says, ask and accept support from others. Maybe someone wants to help you. and You say no. <laughs> and you turn them down. Accept it. Always, always accept things that are offered to you um, in the most gracious way. I know people might offer me. Um, I have someone who doesn't like overripe bananas. Well, they're not. To me, they're not overripe. But to, to them, they are. And, and <laughs> I'm no, I'm saying this and they offer them to me all the time, even though I don't need them, <laughs> I'll accept them because they're thinking about me in that way. So I'll accept those, what they consider overripe, unless they're really dark and black, they're not overripe. They look at the, the skin and sometimes, but that's when a banana is at its highest, uh, vitamin contact, you know, so Okay, so I'm going to shuffle. So even if you don't need it, accept it and be thankful that they thought of you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Okay, let's see. And the card is Queen of Water. Yeah, we got water again. Okay, the ocean and water. It represents being tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. And it reads, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Perfect card to bring these other two cards together. It talks about relationships developing to a new level. Again, it could be friends that are developing into a love relationship or maybe your friends are going to help you develop into to a new person to maybe to see yourself care for yourself water there's a cleansing so we have the water again 
in the beginning of the reading and at the end of the reading. So cleansing yourself, visualizing going near a body of water, the ocean, lakes, whatever form of cleansing. Even if you take a nice bath, cleansing putting yourself surrounding yourself with the water for cleansing you might also consider putting a water feature in your home which offers a cleansing uh, atmosphere as well and it's if it's moving like a water fountain or a fish tank you know that brings prosperity and it brings uh, things to manifest quickly so here we go for the water cleansing time let your friends help because relationships are going to develop into uh and trust your intuition you know and your intuition is is your soul learned lessons and uh, and it and it reminds you because we live in now we don't always know the lessons we've learned yet right all of a sudden uh, all of a sudden you're in a situation and you just know the answer <laughs> you're like how do i know that okay because it and maybe in the past life you learned a lesson but also you know you, the wisdom that you gain from being a, a soul that's been reincarnated, that's been here, uh, you learn lessons and have that understanding. So trust your intuition. Also, the ga angels guide you. If you have a close connection with the angels and with the ascendant masters, they come to you through your intuition to your gut and warning red signs and also good signs. So this sounds like a great week. I I think I'm going to, there's a, a nice park uh, with the beautiful lake thing. I think I'm going to take a walk maybe uh, this weekend and, and enjoy that. And maybe bring a friend with me. That would be great, wouldn't it? So, okay, so now we're going to go to um, the Archangel Michael prayer cards. And we'll see what he has to say for the week. Okay, I'm going to cut the deck. Okay, it says, you created the situation and you have the power to change it. And it says, thank you for letting me lean on your strength and for reminding me of my personal power. Please guide me to manifest and heal according to divine will, creating peace and blessings for everyone involved. You know, we are the masters of our soul. We control what we think, say, do, hear, and, and our actions. The universe, rec God and the universe recognize it and blesses us with uh, more. So, um, so you want to bring peace if someone is comes to you in a negative way. Don't respond back to them negatively. Bless them instantly. Bless them. And then maybe walk away. Um because now you just told the universe that you're not going to tolerate that type of reaction in your life by blessing, stopping it, and walking away. So um, your thought process, everything like that, you want to bless and know that if you create it, everything is how you think about it. If you look at everything as a blessing, then it's a blessing, okay? If you look at things negative or if you get angry, then the universe says, okay, they're angry. They, that's okay for them to be angry. They must like it. I'm going to bring more irritating things to make them angry. But when you choose, God gives us a choice. We could either choose divine will or the will of the ego. And remember, the ego is everything that's negative. It's worry, fear, doubt, anger, jealousy. It's all the negative feelings. And, of course, divine will is based on love. It's love, peace, happiness, joy. And you control that. So I thank you for being with me today. I hope you have a great week. Of course, I love hearing from you and your input. Uh, I may not always get a chance to respond, but I do read them. And um, uh, my life can be very, very busy at times. But I invite you to visit my website at cindyshealing.com. Please like me on Facebook. I'm trying to get more. I just finally reached 100 likes. So uh, maybe we can go over. Let's work for maybe 200 likes. I also invite you for my weekly live chat on Sunday nights at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So you can join me for that. 
and uh, check out all of my services. And if you want a personal reading from me, let me know, okay? So have a great week, and I thank you. You bless me by being here, and know that you're powerful when you're in the knowing. When you got God, the Ascendant Masters, and your angels behind you, you are most powerful indeed. So until next week, I'll say bye-bye.